Karibu sana Kisumu. Haya, asante bwana. Asante sana. <laughs> Right now I'm on Odingo Odinga Road here in Kisumu City and I want to go to Dunga Beach and that's like the lakeside here in Kisumu City. I'll be able to get some local food, check out the vibe in that area. So let's get on a Boda Boda. I'm gonna get a Boda Boda which is the moto bike taxi and it should be around 100 Kenyan shillings to get from here in Kisumu City to that area. Let's go on that journey together. Tupoma, Tupoma Moja. Okay, I'm deep in the Luo lands. I'm in an area called Donga, Donga Beach area. It's a fishing community just on the outskirts of Kisumu town, around two kilometers. Now here you will find, of course, it's the lake shore of Lake Victoria. Or some people know it as a Lake Nyanza. Okay, and here you'll be able to buy different fishing meals. Yeah, you get the best fish from Lake Victoria right here. And there's also bars and live band music and different things that happen here on the weekend. So we're going to check it out and we'll go and sample some of the samaki or the fish here in the Dunga Beach area here. So I do trust you enjoy today's episode and you have been enjoying it. Let's explore Dunga Beach. Yeah. So right now we're in the Soko La Samaki here in Kisumu. Shikamo Mama. Uh -huh. So these are the different fishes here in uh, Dunga Beach here in Kisumu. So people could come here, order their fish, what, what they want. And this is where it is fried here in Kisumu. This is how it's done. And most of the fish is basically a uh, tilapia fish, a very popular fish that you will find here in Lake Victoria or Lake Nyanza here in Kisumu side in Kenya. Literally she's cleaning the fish here. This is how it's done. Aya. Yeah. Yeah. So usually when you want to travel to different places here in Kisumu and check out Lake Victoria, you will come to this side, Donga Beach, and you will be able to get a boat and explore the lake. is uh, one of the cafes here in Dunga Beach. This is what the vibe is like. Mm. And these are the various boats that will be taking you to different places on the lake here. And you can see right here in the distance there's one boat going out and you've got groups of people and they will just give them a tour of Lake Victoria. It's a bit rough today but it's definitely worth the experience sometimes you get the opportunity to also see hippopotamus so that'll be a great experience as well
Kwa oh, sana. Asante sana bwana. Nini natandaza tazama tu kidogo. Natazama kidogo. Eh. Sasa mimi nataka nikupeleke paka huko ndani. Mtazamie yeye uko ndani kidogo. Wa, wakati ujao. Wakati ujao. Leo nina ninafanya chukua video kidogo. Yeah. Alafu ni kwenda restaurant. Sasa tu tuko na other place, another beautiful place ambao naweza chukulia vida. Eh. Na iko a uh, walk board ni huko ndani kama sio kuna na hapo utaona ile green pa hapo ndani. Eh. Hapo kusimamia utaona ile view lake. Mm-hmm. Ayo ya wetland kingilio oh. ni tu wa mlo mmoja ni mmoja ah hapo ndani so okay asante maybe you are comfortable enough as a friend we have to send the mpaka huko hivi yeah labda baadaye haya asante eh karibu so this is a video of the lake here and um this is where everyone will obviously come and dock and get on the various boats that will take you to different places here on Lake Victoria. You can see a lot of people are here. It's it's around after 3 p.m. in the afternoon, so usually it's a bit more busier in the morning times, but it's still a good vibe here. This is the beautiful Dunga village, Dunga beach area here in Kisumu. Salam, eh? Salam. Asante. So, we're moving. And there's also various shops here as well. You can see they're selling various African fabric, baskets and stuff like that. I'm okay. How about you? Need a rude ten on my jalio. Aya. So I'm in Dunga Beach. The boardwalk. And the. Yeah, boardwalk. <laughs> and um, you can. Uh, Get a boardwalk here, and I guess you'll learn about the history of the place and check out some of these beautiful reeds that we're seeing here in the boardwalk. These are all the reeds, you'll even see this on the River Nile. Very ancient, it's used to make different things from baskets and different things like that. So, inside here, we're seeing a lot of. Uh, artifacts from the Luo culture. This is called a new titi. They usually make a lovely new titi, low traditional music. So these are some of the things you will see on the boardwalk. Okay. So literally we're walking, <laughs> yeah. So we'll walk into the top. Walk into the top right now. And here you'll get a good view of the Lake Vic. I do trust that you are enjoying the Dunga Papyrus Boardwalk Tour. 
you are looking at the papyrus plant. An interesting fact is that the ancient North Africans in countries which are today called Egypt, Sudan, etc., used the stem of the papyrus plant to make sails, cloth, mats, cords, and above all, paper. Paper made from the papyrus was the chief writing material in ancient North Africa. It was then adopted by the Greeks and was used extensively during the Roman Empire. So I'm walking down now and I'm going to go to the other side of the, the lake side here. And that will lead me to this section. It's a lower landing. And you can see two people are just literally sitting down, relaxing and having a good time. Real lovely vibes here on the lake. Victoria. I'm loving it. So definitely when you come to Kisumu, come and check out Dunga Beach. Have a meal, have a drink and get a real vibe of the place. Mambo. So you see all these buildings that you're seeing around me, these are the various uh, restaurants that sells samaki, okay, fish and stuff like that. And some of them, they also have live band music as well. So these are all the different restaurants here in the area. This one here is Casablanca. Popular one here in the area as well. So this is literally the vibe here on Lake Victoria, guys. Okay, so now I'm in a local restaurant here in Dunga Beach and I'm going to try the Ugali and the amazing fish they have here and Sukumawiki, very popular throughout Kisumu, Sukumawiki, it's like uh, kale. So really nice greens, I'm going to try that and that cost me 800 Kenyan shillings for the entire meal. So yeah, we're going to dig in, I'm going to dig in, see what it's like and I'll show you of course what it looks like, let you know how it tastes. Now, I'm at a restaurant here in Dunga Beach. The name of it is Beach Kitchen Foods. That's the name of the place where I am right now, Beach Kitchen Foods. So whenever you're in Dunga Beach, yeah, check it out. Okay, guys, so my food has arrived. And what you're seeing there is fish. I believe it's tilapia. And I also have the greens that you're seeing there. It's called Sukumawiki in Kenya. And it's like kale, okay, kale in English. And this is, of course, ugali. Ugali is stiff maize, okay, that's cooked to a consistency, so it's stiff. So I'll eat it with the fish and the sukumawiki. And I've also got a wonderful glass here of juice, yaembe, which is mango juice. So all of this came up to a total of 900 Kenyan shillings. So I'll dig in and let you know how it tastes when I'm finished. So I've just finished my meal. The food has absolutely been amazing here in the Dunga Beach area. So definitely you have to try out their fish and Sukumawiki and Ugali when you visit this beautiful lakeside city of Kisumu. And like I said, everything came up to only 900 Kenyan shillings. So it's been an amazing experience. I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode. And do consider, if you're new around here, to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, I do appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos. 
My name is Wimba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. Until next time, peace.